Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in the channel. Today, I want to show you how we took this roof from this to this to this. Now let's get started. So the homeowner actually installed this roof himself about 30 years ago with the guidance of some construction friends. He actually did a really great job and it held up really well. The original roof was a wood shake and he tore it off himself and installed plywood. In California, you could have up to three layers on a roof, but since we were installing an Owens Corning duration cool shingle that lasts up to 50 years, we decided it would be best to start from a clean slate. So we went ahead and ripped off the single layer. So you always start at the top and make your way down and start at the back of the roof and walk your way forward. When you're tearing off a roof, you get all kinds of shingle grit and granules that land on the paper and it makes it extremely slippery. So you want to do the least amount of walking as possible. So this roof was 3000 square feet, which breaks down into 30 squares. I rented a dump trailer that had two foot high sides. So we broke it down half and half and it took us two dump trips. For this job, it takes us one day to completely strip and clean the roof. That's also with denailing it and throwing away all the debris. So once all the shingles are removed, we then take our duck's foot and we rip up all the nails from the paper. This way we can just get behind the paper on one end and start rolling it. When we roll it like this, we try and do it at a little bit of an angle so that we can collect all the debris and shingle grit in it. One thing I like to constantly do is hit the roof with a magnet because there's just so many nails. Typically we do four nails per shingle here in California. So you times that by a couple thousand and it could really add up. The homeowner had a really beautiful garden and we did not want to get any more trash than was necessary in it after we had moved a lot of plants and tarped a lot of stuff. So here you can see we had the backside 100% cleaned up and we were working our way forward. The customer was nice enough to give us access to the driveway, so it made it really easy for us to just walk over and throw the trash into the dump trailer. Once the dump trailer is full, I then take it down to the local dump and get rid of all the debris. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the job. So once we had the shingles, paper, and all the debris removed and hauled to the dump, we could then take a good look at the plywood. What we found was a little bit of water damage around where the drip edge was and termite damage in the shiplap, rafter tails, and fascia. Prior to the job starting, we had discussed with the client that he wanted to have all new fascia boards in the front of the house. Another thing that we addressed was that there was a pretty big gap here at the ridge top and we did not know if the inspector would like that. So we went ahead and took a couple sheets of plywood and just made it even. In California, you have two inspections. You have what's called a sheeting inspection, which is where they check your nailing pattern and the condition of the wood. And then you have a final inspection, which is when they just come and check the condition of the shingles, the stagger, and all the nailing patterns. Here's a look at the front of the house when we had the fascia board, shiplap, and some of the rafter tails torn out. We just went ahead and cut the plywood back to access the shiplap and the rafter tails. Fortunately, we were able to save most of the rafter tails and most of the shiplap. This is an example of one of the rafter tails that we replaced. You can see here that it was eaten up pretty bad and that there was no saving it. Here's an example of some of the termite damage shiplap that we replaced. You can see here that the shiplap is not primered because it had the plywood on top of it. So every piece of wood that we replace comes pre-primered. We never install wood on the home that is not primered because termites can still access it. We installed pre-primered shiplap, fascia board, and rafter tails. We also install a spruce fascia board so that the termites will not eat it again. So you can see our woodwork is 100% completed. We went ahead and installed our new rafter tails, shiplap, fascia board, and then the plywood on top. 
As per California code, we install our fascia board with 16D galvanized nails. In order to get our plywood and sheeting inspected, we have to have the material loaded beforehand. The customer decided to go with the Owens Corning Duration Cool Shingle. He really liked the brown color that we had torn off, so we went ahead and matched it as close as possible. We went ahead and secured our number 30 felt paper and started cutting out our book. We like to go with a five and a quarter inch stagger, start from the corner and work our way up. This project took us one day to tear off, two days for woodwork and two days to shingle. And then we were 100% complete. We went ahead and called our inspection and got it signed off. I just want to say shout out to all 17 of my subscribers, even though I'm pretty sure 14 of you guys are friends and family, but I really do appreciate it. This project was a ton of fun and the client was very happy when we were all completed. For our next project, we're gonna be in Seal Beach, California, installing a new shingle roof with solar mounts. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our content and thank you for watching.